E V R A to the H M O A M O A. It's D E V R A to the H M O A M O. Okay, in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you sort of like my share of experiences with YouTube and how to start a YouTube channel. So, first and foremost, I would say that you don't need all of these things that people be saying like oh my god two 12 millimeter lens blah, 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 that you know the, the technical terms with the cameras and the big lights and everything no when you're starting off you don't have to start like as number one yet if you can afford that then cool but for those that you know cannot afford that from the get-go your phone is enough your phone if you have an iphone or even an android like a a decent android you know you could just Look for a place with nice lighting, maybe your bathroom or like your living room or your bedroom. Put your phone onto something and start recording. You know, you don't have to start. It wouldn't hurt anyone for you to start like small. Then grow gradually from there onwards. Keep on, you know, trying to improve, trying to get better ways, better uh, video ideas and stuff like that. And you don't need the fancy ring lights and the fancy Canon G7WX. Well, no, you don't. You don't, okay? Just start as, as small as you can. Just start with what you have and then grow, okay? Steps keep going up from there, okay? So, but if you do have everything, that's, that's cool. That's all right. That's okay. Like, kudos to you. But I started with my phone and that's... I'm okay. I turned out just all right. So, yeah. And then I would advise you to think of the content you're going to put out. Like think of what you want to do. Is it beauty? Is it lifestyle? Is it vlogs? Is it, is it food? It, like what are you going to do? Is it mukbang? Whatever. What are you going to do? Um, I usually tell people that like those that DM me on Instagram or Facebook, I tell them that um, it'll be best if you... Um, do a little bit of everything so that you can attract a wider uh, a wider audience for example if you do only beauty then most likely like your subscribers are going to be 98 percent girls and most guys will just be like oh this is not my business okay bye but if you're passionate about that it, it doesn't hurt to actually just be focused on beauty alone and it would be okay like you could put more like focus and drive and everything into just one thing which is good actually you'd be centered around only one thing and diverting your energy towards it but then again i just feel like it's better if you do a little bit of everything for everyone like especially maybe when you're starting i feel like put some vlogs if you're a girl put some makeup if you're you know into hauls put some hauls if you you know put everything in but it's still okay if you can't you want to focus maybe on music only that's still okay but just put all you have onto it okay because i think subscribers can easily tell when somebody's just doing it for you know hella hella like j hella all for the cloud people can usually tell and they'll just be like hey kiddos bye but and the other thing is about getting subscribers and views like that views and things like that oh my god did i just say that it really doesn't matter. Like, I don't think people should be ventured, like, into, like, oh, my God, I need 5,000 views. Oh, my, if I can get a million views. Like, you're going to end up just pushing it too hard and force things never go well. Like, everybody's going to see that you're forcing stuff and people are going to drag you, probably. But just, I just be, like, relaxed and just go with it. Okay, just go with it. Like, just calm down and enjoy. I feel like... Most of the time when people start, they just, they're just they just nervous. I was nervous. <laughs> I was one of those. I was really nervous. And that's okay. But just go along with it. If this is what you really want, then it's not going to be a problem. After some time, you're just going to be like comfortable with the camera and the lights, comfortable with your phone and the lights and everything. you just be okay. Then the other thing would be avoid like over click baiting things. Like if you want to people to, to actually subscribe you know like if you want people to actually be drawn into your content do not over clickbait click clickbaiting is okay like don't get me wrong to clickbait it's it's really okay every marketer does that in every business like people always like say some things and it's not actually 
the actual actual thing inside that box which is totally fine but the clickbaiting thing should be along the lines of what you're actually going to be talking about or what you're actually going to be doing in the video because if it's totally <laughs> different then oh my god that's just gonna be bad you know like if you want to you can over dramatize things like you know hyperbole as we used to call it in school any that element of hyperbole inside the title that's good because it'll keep people like oh my god like i want to see it'll get people to click on your video but if you do like fake a bully then <laughs> then that's gonna be a problem that's gonna be a problem because everybody's gonna be like girl we can't remember this video because you said this this is the title and when we open the video it, it's not even that like for example just be like oh my dad died and your dad is not actually dead like that that's just not even clickbait that's just a lie <laughs> so just you know try with you know just dramatize it but don't overdo it just don't overdo it that's just gonna be bad that's gonna just be terrible for you especially as a small youtuber okay girl you just gonna you're just gonna ruin your whole youtube life you doubting yourself you doubting that oh my god or like procrastinating like oh i'll upload today oh this video is not gonna be good enough people are not gonna like it this that 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 that's just bad energy and like period that's just really bad energy and you just pull putting it towards your youtube and just negativity how do you expect it to be like it's also gonna be negative girl like it's following you you're the creator here like you can't be pulling yourself down what about the other people that don't know you of course they're gonna pull you down like girl they don't even care about you so okay there's some people good people on the internet but some people are just gonna see through your your bs and they're just gonna be like okay girl okay do you want to do this thing or you, you're just wasting our time you know then the other thing would be your thumbnail i think that you should make thumbnails that are so like attention seeking beautiful thumbnails that speak for themselves for example if you're going if you bought an iphone 11 put it towards you know like something like that you know like wow like just make thumbnails that are really good because it's like your thumbnail is a thing that speaks for you like before people actually read into the title people see the thumbnail it's the picture that can make or destroy you like concerning your views and concerning you attracting people to watch that video so i think the thumbnail is one of the most important things on like trying to get your youtube together or like trying to make a youtube in general so the first video that you put out should have a really good thumbnail for attention purposes and for you know you're a new person in the blog so nobody knows you so that's how people are going to find you you know that's how people are going to stay with you. Like, people are going to be, like, drawn into the video because of the appearance of the cover. Avoid ugly-looking thumbnails. <laughs> Even if your video is not that good, at least put a nice thumbnail there. Good quality and just a thumbnail that... Okay, that, you know, even if you're smiling and you write some words on top... That's still good, you know, you, 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 cute. And thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on my next video.